In this daily puzzle, material is equal, and black would love to play f6, chasing our bishop out of the center. Well, sometimes people ask me, how are these positions reached? Where did they get these puzzles from? And most of them come from actual games, but sometimes they're hard to recognize because chess.com pulls a switcheroo and flip-flops everything. Let me show you what I mean as I show you how this position was reached over on my analysis board. The game was played on July 30th, 1988 at the Nystved Open in Denmark. Evgeny Badaev playing against Laszlo Zinka, who had a wonderful upset in this game. D4, knight of 6, c4, e6, knight c3, bishop b4, the Nimzo Indian defense. E3 is the normal line. B6 is the St. Petersburg variation. Knight E2 is Bobby Fischer's variation. Knight E4 adds an attacker to the pinned knight. Queen to C2 puts the question to that knight. Bishop B7 defends that knight. Knight to G3 super attacks that knight. Queen to h4, super defends that knight. Bishop to d3 adds another attacker on that knight. And pawn to f5 adds yet another defender on that knight. Here, white breaks the pin with castles. And with the pin broken, we play bishop takes the knight. Pawn takes the bishop here. You can also play bishop takes knight right there. But in this game, pawn takes the bishop and kingside castles, knight back to e2, rook f6, and bishop takes knight is a real mistake here. You probably should have played pawn to f3 and kicked that knight out of your house. But bishop takes knight it was, and that allows bishop takes bishop, hitting the queen. Now, you could probably play rook h6 right here as well, battery attacking the h-man. But bishop takes bishop it is. That puts the question to the queen. And Badeyev answers that question with queen to d1. Not the best choice. And it brings us to the position of our puzzle. Consider this position and remember what I said at the top. Black would like to play pawn to f6. What brilliancy did Zinka come up with in order to prevent pawn to f6? You probably guessed it by that hint. The best way to prevent pawn to f6 is to blockade it with your bishop, bada bing, bada boom, and Black resigned. Now, why did he resign? He resigned because there's nothing good that you can do about this attack against h7. Rook to h3 and take the pawn. Now don't give check on the eighth because the knight interposes and the king escapes. Force the king back with queen h6 check and now you'll note that we can give checkmate on h8. Bada bing, bada boom.